All right, we're back with another video on biasing the ACA Mini. And the question we have is whether you can bias it with one meter and one set of probes and uh, do it with any ease and accuracy. Um, let's see what we can do. So we know from the last video and from reading Nelson's article that we want to have a VB of 300 millivolts, which is 0 0.300 volts. And we want to have a VO of 11 and a half volts. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to bias up the left channel. Um, we're going to turn it on and watch VO. We're going to um, use the speaker ground, speaker minus, for our ground and I'm going to touch VO here and you can see that it's rising and it will rise to um, 11 and a half volts maybe slightly higher when we get to that point we can start to do some adjustments we've got all the potentiometers P1 and P2 turned counterclockwise and um, what's going to be difficult is to hold probes with one hand and turn a potentiometer with the other. Hopefully we don't see any sparks fly tonight. Um, so we know from the first video and experience with biasing the ACA Mini that I prefer to start with potentiometer 2, P2, and turn it. We've got to wait for this voltage to stabilize. But I'm going to turn it until the voltage starts to drop slightly. Oh boy. Okay, we're back to DC voltage. And we're at 11.6. We're gonna turn P2 until that voltage, we can see it start to drop. And there we are. And for us, on this particular amplifier, that's at about the 3 o'clock position. So we know we can go, if we can get at it, we can get up to P1. And we can turn that to about the same position, 3 o'clock. And we'll take a look at our VO and VB and see what we've got. So we've got 11.8 volts, and on VB we've got uh, nothing. Um, so we'll start to turn P1 until we start to get a little bit of voltage running through. Now we'll take a look at VO, and that's dropped, but come up considerably to 12 and a half. So we're going to go back to P2 and bring that down, all the way down to 11 and a half. And take a look at our VB. We're at 0 0.086. So we're getting there. Um, while we have our meters on VB, or our probes on VB, let's go back up to P1. Whoops, I must have lost it. So we're at 122, 123 millivolts. We're at 11.69 volts. So we want to pull that down. And um, I'm going to do that by turning P2. Pull that down to about 
four and then see what we've got on BB. 174, that's a good stopping point for now to let it warm up. Um, I forgot to say this, but our goal was to bring it up to 150 millivolts and uh, then let it warm up there for a while. So we're going to call it good at 175. We're going to shut the video off for a second and watch things drift. We're back after about seven or eight minutes, and we're going to take a look at VB. And you can see that it's drifted up to uh, 193 millivolts. So our goal is to get to 300 millivolts. But let's go to 250 millivolts first. Let it set for a little bit and then move up to 300. So I'm going to go back to VO. And we can see that we're at 11.36. So to pull that up, we're going to go to P1. And pull it up so high. Check VB. Oh, wow. That really pulled this up. Um... Let's bring us back down a little bit. That's better. And our VO. Eleven point four six. Um We're at 11.46, we want to bring VB up a little bit. It wouldn't be this hard, but I've got these keystone test points installed. If it were just a regular board, your the tip of your probe would rest in that little hollow and it would be much more stable. Let's see where we're at now. So we're at 257 and so let's pull VO down just slightly. Well, let's try that. Let's see what we got for VB. 273. And we're a little bit low on VO, so we're going to go back up to tensiometer 1, P1. Pull that up. Let's pull this up. 11.5. And then see what we have for... Oh, we're getting close. We were at 11.5. So we could... We're up over a little, a little over 11.5, so we can stand to pull that down just a fuss. 11.2. Just pull it down. Well, that might be too much. Oh, point eight. 
and we're about spot on at 300 millivolts. Let's go back to VO. 11.47. So that's about perfect. We did that pretty quickly and um, we didn't give it a whole lot of time to warm up when we got to around two and a half, 250 millivolts. But it seems fairly stable right now. So we're gonna let it set a few minutes and keep checking it. Oh, we haven't, that's not gonna be warm because we haven't touched that one. Um, so as you see, it's possible. It's not very much fun though. Um, I'd highly recommend two meters and I recommend putting something, whether it be these Keystone uh, 5006 or even just a piece of uh, wire uh, or resistor scrap lead and twist it in a hook and solder it in there and then use the mini grabbers um, like these guys over here. So it's possible, you can do it, but um, it's not that much fun. All right, thanks again, we're out.